come, let me repack your hair for you. No! What? Come here! No! Come, I want to repack your hair for you. <laughs> you don't want me to repack your hair? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, what's going on in my castle? Ah. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Mm. How are you? Mm? Guess what I got for you? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. I thought you were going to say nothing. <laughs> and you, my lovely one, this one is for... Oh. Hi, darling. <laughs> I thought you forgot. Me, forget. I don't love my life, Abby. <laughs> I, was, I was excited with what I got for you, so, you know. Yeah. There you go. Uh, hey. Sorry. Better. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm lucky to be on big extras. You definitely are. <laughs> no, you did not. Oh my god. Me with gifts. Well, um, oh. thank you. Thank you. Mm. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> but more important thing, thing is anything. I am dying here. I've been eating anything since morning. So oh, please don't tell worry me. Don't worry about that. There's my husband's favorite dish, which is powdered yam. Uh -huh. Beautiful vegetable soup and hot spicy catfish. Hey, this guy, you not killed me. Oh, uh, no, I, I have not started yet. And after that, I am going to treat you to something spicier, something hotter. Hmm. And you know something know to like. that pepper soup. Something behind that pepper soup, eh? Exactly. If not because of that. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Ah. Oh, sorry, sorry, ma. Sorry, princess. All right. Oh, yeah. Come on, tell me what you did today. Hmm? Were you a good girl? Hmm? You don't like your presents? Which one do you like? This one or this one? This one? So why don't you open it then? Hmm? Open it. Open it. Open it. Yes. Open it. Open it, open it, open it, open it, open it, open it, open it. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh hello, darling. Pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing up so late, huh? Why aren't you sleeping? Because I want to ask mommy and dad when to bring another baby so that Kelly has someone to play with. Uh, why are you asking this sort of question? Because my son mommy went to the hospital and came back with a new baby. Uh, who's not so? My classmate. Very soon. Hmm? Very, very soon. Mommy and Daddy will go to the hospital and they will come back with a baby for Kelly to play with. Is that okay? Okay. Is that okay? Hmm? Mm. 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 I'll give Mommy a kiss. Oh, yeah. All right. My goodness, when is Dad going to bring the food? I'm so hungry. <laughs> when will you stop eating here and learn how to cook? Thank you very much, Annabelle. Remind me. Well, Good news, my husband loves me just the way I am. <laughs> Sit yourself. Thank you know, you Frank is such a nice guy. I know, that's why I love him. Come say that again, girl. Best couple of the year. What? I know, Bill. Oh, excuse me. Hello, darling. Oh, my love, I'm so sorry. I'm on my way home now. I'm sorry, I'm bringing your food. Annabelle was just bothering me here. All right, bye. Hey, 
No. Oh, come on. Please talk to me. Okay? What's eating you up? I've met countless doctors. I've been to several specialist hospitals. They say I'm okay. So why can't I have my own child after two years of marriage? Oh, come on, darling. Our marriage is just two years old. God will give us children in his own time. No. At the right time. I'm not happy. How can I be? Please. You know I love you so much. Please tell me what is it that will make you happy and I will surely do it. I want you to see a specialist. Don't. First thing tomorrow morning, I am going to see whomever you want me to see, okay? Alright. Mm -hmm. I am so, so excited. Ah, uh, guess what? What? Fred asked me to come to America. Are you serious? My goodness, I am so happy for you. That's good news. Are you saying you're going to America? Oh, yes. My visa came yesterday after you left. Besides, I'm traveling in two days' time. In two days? <laughs> so soon? <laughs> Girl, I'm really going to miss you now. Uh, uh, now you're sounding like a baby. All I am going to say, I don't want you back here until he proposes to you. <laughs> uh, I need earrings. Yeah, I need to go home so I can get my things ready. Yes, I I need to help a pack up. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. My love, what's the problem? Sarah. The doctor said I can further a child. My love, it's not the end of the world. Cheryl, I love you. We can adopt as many children as we want. I'm proud of you. Many men out there will have hidden the results away from their wives. Better still make them feel like they are the problem. Thank you for not lying to me. Fish know something that you can do like a book. The more that you read it, is the more you are confused. Freshen up and then come for food. Go, 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 go. Let me dish your food for you. All right. Oh, um, I just got back from, well, I just passed by the doctors today on my way back here and uh, 
Says he wants to see you. What for? I don't know. Okay. I'll drop by and see him tomorrow. Fine. But, uh, before you go, since Kelly is still sleeping, why don't you make the most of it? Oh, yeah. Come, what are you wearing this thing for? Is this for me or for the doctor? You, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I ask her. <laughs> Sweetie, your, your food is ready. Um, should I get it here for you? Um, I don't think that'll be necessary. I stopped by to have something to eat at my mom's before coming here, so... Thanks, but no thanks. Forgive me, whatever it is, because I don't even know what I have done. But whatever it is, I am sorry. Please. You know, this, this silence of yours is, is, is driving me crazy. It's, it's, it's killing me slowly. My face again. Sweetheart, it's true. You know, Daddy is always right. I can take care of myself. It's okay with me. Hmm? What would you like? Would you like some ice cream? I'm going to the Bouncing Castle. Hmm? In the kitchen. Venny. Venny. Yes. Tell you what, I am taking both my babes out. 
What would you like? Mm? Get dressed. We're going out. We're going out. For what? Baby, look. It's a treat. Okay? It's a surprise. It's, I'll spoil if I tell you where. Just get dressed, okay? Please. It's I mean, they have a lovely playground. I think yeah, the I think... proprietor is friendly enough. Yeah. They're children friendly, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Um, actually, you know, I'm thinking of seeing your mom tomorrow mm -hmm. so that she can help arrange uh, for a nanny or a house girl. What do you think? Why? I'm resuming work next week. Which work? I thought I told you that I do not want you to work. But, baby, it's important that I take this job. At least to relieve you of a lot of things. Which work? I said which work? I thought I told you I'm comfortable at, uh, enough as it is. You're shouting and people are looking at us. Well, I don't care! <sighs> I know how you feel about my not being able to give you more children. But I want you to know one thing. I love you. I really do love you. Even though the doctor said it's risky for me to give birth to more children, it's, it's a risk I am willing to take. But, but the question is... Prepare yourselves for the worst. I don't think we can save this one. And even if we do, I'm afraid she's going to need the total care for the rest of her life. She has spinal cord damage. She's going, she's going! Oh my god! No, come over here, come over here! Hurry, 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 hurry! Don't let this happen. Please don't let me go. I can't die now. I am just 28. Please, Vin needs me. My baby needs me as well. I don't want to die now, God, please. I don't want to die. Please save me. Let me not die now. Please.
Du hast da. Da fehlt vor dem Hausband. Ja. Und das ist vor der Burst. Ja. Nos. Ich suche zu. Bring Claude und Cover dann. Good day, Doctor. Uh, good day. Thank you very much, sir, for your assistance. Uh, you're welcome. I've settled the bill, so can I take my sister home now? Yes, you can. Yeah, one more thing, Doctor. She seems not to remember anything at all. It's a gradual process, but I will advise you to go home. With time, she'll be fine. Okay? Okay, okay sir. Just take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you. to save her daughter from the car. The driver ran away, but the authorities are still on it. What happened to us, Frank and I? The doctor said Frank died instantly, that you were still breathing. But before I got to the hospital, I was told that your heart stopped. was consoling me in his office. All of a sudden, a nurse came screaming, shouting, that you're back to life. That was what happened. Don't you have any memory of it at all? No. Not one. <sighs> Nim, please, show me around the house. Pretend I haven't been here before. The world, showing my sister around her house. I know how you feel. I feel so too. It's okay. I don't know if the shop will also be straight to you. I hope not. I'm still anxious to know. Perhaps tomorrow. Pumpkin, let's go in. Hmm? Wanna go in? No! Come on! Okay, please, now, begging. Come on! <laughs> we are going to bed, come on. No. Come on. Come on. Please, pumpkin, please go to bed. Hi, I'm, I'm Angelina. Your new neighbor. I'm, I'm Vincent Sihanacho. Uh, sorry, how, how do you know my daughter's name? Oh, I... Yes, I, I heard you call her that while watching from the balcony. You're the lady who... Because I, I came in one early afternoon, I saw a new car and some people painting and stuff. Well, nice meeting you. It's nice, nice meeting you. Yeah. 
and uh, well, it's a nice neighborhood. Um, I hope I'll be friendly enough, and you know, um, I I'm sure we'll get along anyway. Sure. Uh, come on, Kelly. Oh, well, I have to take her to bed past her bedtime, you know. Come on, come on, princess. She wouldn't mind a hug, would she? Uh, you want a hug? You want to give her a hug? Yes. Sure. I'm sorry. I love children. <laughs> Sweetie, what was that reckless driving for? I am for? sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I've told you to stop pestering my life. I don't want you anywhere around me again. Oh, baby, I thought you loved me. <laughs> but I just realized I made a terrible mistake, right? I am sorry. Please forgive me. Stop! Just stop embarrassing me, please! Oh, baby, I love stop you. it! I don't want you anywhere close to me anymore. Oh, baby, I love you. <laughs> you love me. Sorry. Stop pestering my life, or I'll call the police for you. Linda, I love you. Give your love to another girl. Linda. that for? Kneeling down in the middle of the road for a woman? Listen, that was bad. I know what I am doing. What are you doing? Listen, that girl is a gold mine. If I have her, I have the whole world. Don't you understand? Forget it, man. Let's go, man. That was far. I know what I am doing. You're going out? Yeah. Uh, Hello, little one. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to my mom's place to drop off. I'm traveling tomorrow, so keep an eye on her, you know. So, all right, so. Bye. See you later. Bye. I live my life now. I love for all the things around me. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm. Um, oh, sorry about your car. Shit. Get out. So how's our baby? And oh, I, I, I meant to ask how your baby was doing. Yeah, I understand that. Um, you know, we're both in the same situation, so... Well, if it's any consolation, she likes you a lot, so I think you have the right to sort of call her your baby as well. I like her too. <sighs> Listen, um, I've got a box of chocolates in my house that... Uh, Kelly is intent on finishing and I, I don't want her to do that because I don't want her to ruin her tea. So I was wondering if you could relieve me of them. I hate chocolates. It's poison. My wife hated them as well. Obviously Kelly doesn't agree. Psh, take a wild guess. actually said I was a terrible wrestler while we were young. I'd really rather not. Hmm. I'm sorry. My horrible manners. I haven't even offered you anything to drink. Look, uh, what we have, I've, I've got um, apple juice, I've got orange juice, I've got water. Which one? Oh, apple juice is fine. That was my wife's favorite drink. Yeah, um, sure. 
I'll be back shortly, okay? Hello. Mommy loves you so much. And even if you can't see her face again, she'll always love you. Yes? Good girl. All right, I need to take her to bed. She usually says this when she wants to go to bed. Sure, yes. All right, come on, darling. Oh, just give me a second, we'll be back soon, yeah? Of course. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hi. I'm really sorry. Um, I had to bathe her and then say her night prayers. Right, sorry. What's it like for you? I mean, just you and, and her. It's, it's, it's hard. I mean, um, <laughs> her pretty face is a constant reminder of Vanessa when she was alive, so... That's the most difficult part of it, you know? Uh, but, you know, it's, it's tough bringing her up, but it's such a joy coming back from work and seeing her pretty face and her hugging me, so... That makes all the difference. Finally. Sure. Huh. What's wrong? How is Kelly? She's sleeping. What's what's the matter? Were you, were you attacked by robbers? No. What's the matter? I had a nightmare. Um, you want to talk about it? Look, you, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, w would you like me to get a glass of water? No. No. It's okay, I, I understand. Look, I, it took me that long to, you know, try and get over Venny, you know, not seeing her face and everything. <sighs> Even had to put away some of her pictures around. I had to do it for Kelly and myself, so. I understand. It's hard. Yeah. It is. I... I better go. I just wanted to be sure that you're... I mean, Veni. I mean, <sighs> Kelly. Kelly. I wanted to be sure Kelly was okay. Yeah. Um, she's fine. Tell you what, um... It's... Kelly's birthday on Friday. I just want to have a little, you know, sort of lunch, dinner for her. I'd be glad if you could come over. I will. Thank you. I think today is Daddy's birthday. We should give it to Daddy, yes? No. It's my own. Well, yes. Yes, you're right. All of them are for you. All of it. Happy birthday. And so we'll, what do you say to me now? Thank you. Thank you. And we'll open them when we're finished, okay? Mom? Yeah? This is my neighbor, Angelina. Angelina Mbukwe. Angelina, my lovely mom. It's nice to meet you, Mom. It's my pleasure. You're welcome, sweetheart. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Vanny was perfect for Vincent. She was like a daughter I never had. But that mm. snatched away from us. It's okay, Mom. It's okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be very comfortable with children. Yes, I love children. I admire you, my dear. 
I know what it looks like to lose a husband during early marriage. I don't need the grace of God in you. I love you. Thank you. Right. Welcome back. Hey. How are you? Hey. <laughs> I was wondering if you want to come and have a drink. A drink? Inside. You know, you have an uncanny resemblance to my wife. How? I mean, we, we don't look alike. No, but you, you just have the same mannerisms. You behave alike, everything. A coincidence? Exactly. Your mother is very nice. Yeah, she is. It's been a pillar of strength for me ever since my wife died. Well, if you ever get stuffed with Kelly, I'd love to keep her for you. She can be quite a hand for you now. I guess so. But I'll just take her over to the shop, you know, get busy, and then bring her back on my way. Cool. Uh. I never guessed how fulfilling walking was until I had my own problems, you know. Work has made me so busy, I, I barely remember sometimes. Um. Vin, we're going to be neighbors for a very long time. I really wouldn't want us to have regrets. Regrets? Yes. I mean, I know we're both lonely. We have our own problems. But sex is only temporary. It's not a permanent solution. You know, it's bad enough living with what we're living with, you know. But um, when an attractive woman comes and tells you to come inside her house for a drink at night and offers to take turns in looking after your daughter and wants to be involved in your life, that does send mixed signals. I'll be tempted to call you a tease, but um, I'll leave that. I have a family to raise. I will stay out of your way, so I will thank you to stay out of mine. I will not trouble you any further. Have a good night. with you? Didn't you see me coming in? What is the matter with you? I got here first. You got here first. I came from this place. I got here. And I just saw you racing all the way here just to cut me off. That's not true. I got here before you. Can you please move your vehicle so I can go in? No. You move your car back and let me get in. I started from that place. No, I will not. Place. I will not. My goodness. Does the slogan ladies first make any sense to you? Does it mean anything to you at all? Yeah. Go right there and open that gate. That's what you can do. And let me drive in. Farewell then. Good night. Oh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Good night. Fine. Two can play that game. Oh, please. Save yourself the energy, okay? Go on. Sleep on your bonnet. Go on. Sleep there. I'm here. Comfortable, as usual. <laughs> My friend, will you go and check your kitchen? Oh, um, I, th I think something is burning in your kitchen. Something is burning? Yes, yes. God, what, why is she crying? 
Maybe it's because of her late husband. Hey, God, what have I done? I'm gonna hurt someone else just because. And I'm maltreating her even though she's done nothing to me. Maybe I should apologize to her and make it all good. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm sorry. Hi. Hey, um, um, I'm looking for Angel. Angel, oh. yeah, here she comes. Hi. Hi. Um, me, my my neighbor. It's been my sister. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, I'll see you later. Maybe I'll show you. What can I do for you? Um. Well, I didn't come for anything in particular. I just wanted to. Well, sort of apologize for my behavior. You don't have to. I mean, it's nothing. No, but I insist. I, I was out of order, and I'm sorry. It's okay. So, um, friends? Right, um, now we're friends again. Um, why don't we check your shop out? I mean, take me on a guided tour through your shop. Sure. Hello. Angelina. Angelina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry about Frank. Hmm? Thank you. Oh, cool. <laughs> really missed you. And I missed you guys too. Yeah, so my uncle, you know, after the accident, she has not been herself. Yeah, she has amnesia. Amnesia? Yeah. Oh my god. That is something weird about in the books. So Angelina, how are you coping with your new experience? Very well. Lena has been helping me out. That's good. That's good. Well, you don't fail to call on me anytime you need my help. Your father was the best of a brother anybody could have in this world. He was always there for me, meeting all my needs. Okay, uncle. So always call on me. Thank you, Uncle. But you, you never cease to amuse me. How? Yeah, because we spoke three days ago and you never told me you were coming back from the States. No, 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 no. You see, I need to surprise you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. So how is the boy and Stanley? Oh, they are doing fine. Very naughty boys. <laughs> before your father calls the police. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Angelina, have to take out to lunch. It's her lunch time, so I have to take her. Sure. Come on. <laughs> well, my lucky day, since she wouldn't go with you, my lunch is ready, so we have it here. <sighs> you women, you always have your way every time. Mm -hmm. Even this little one. <laughs> right, 
I'll be in the sitting room then. Just make yourself comfortable. Okay. Here. I'll wait. <laughs> what choice do I have? Wow. I think your handsome Leo really likes you. <sighs> no. I think he likes No, 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 no. He's only trying to be nice. Well, little one, let me teach you how to cook, okay? Come on, let's go to the house. I fish know something that you can know like a book. The more. Um, Lynn? Who are those people smiling at us? They're your best friends. My Don't best you remember friend. them? My best friends? Yeah. How come they never came to the hospital? You know, Annabelle has been in the state for the past six or seven months. Then, Lucy visited twice before you were transferred to the other hospital. And you know the doctor said he does not want so many visitors around. Yeah, just, they're coming close. Yay, hey, baby! <laughs> So pretty. Oh, thank you. I have always been pretty. <laughs> um, Lena, how are you now? I'm better, really. I'm, 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 I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. So, Annabelle, hope you brought us a lot of gifts from the states. Oh. Talking about gifts, check the card. I brought you a truckload. Oh yeah. Um, Lena, do you know this? Your naughty sister here didn't even tell me when you were transferred to another hospital. My goodness, honestly, I. I... You. I'm really sorry. I'm sure it was doctor's orders. Be very careful. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'll just sign. Okay, well, 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 well. We have so much gist to catch up with, especially you. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hi. Mind if I sit down? Yeah. Have a seat. Hi. Hi. You know, have I told you how much I've come to value our friendship? You never told me. Well, I do. I mean... Uh, I mean, it's like two like minds being through the same experiences, you know, coming together. Yeah, I feel the same way too. Yeah. Um... Before you kill her, I... Thank you. And uh, we'll first make a toast before anything else. Toast um, to. I think we should make a toast to friendship and a toast to, you know, dealing with whatever life throws at us. To friendship. To friendship. To friendship. Friendship. And to whatever life throws at us. Hi, Skelly. She's fine. Oh, that's another bug of my life. She's been bugging the hell out of me to get her to meet you, you know. Sticking a liking to you. I'm glad she likes me. Yeah, but um... I mean, it can be a bit stressful being on call 24 hours a day. I mean, I really love my daughter, but sometimes it can be a bit... I do understand. Really, I do. If you wouldn't mind, I want to get to the ladies. Sure. Thank you.
Uncle, you're welcome. How are you? Why? Um, so young man, how are you? Okay. Good afternoon, sir. So where's Angelina? She went out with her friends. Oh my God. Well, actually, an old pal of mine that I was wedding on Saturday and had wanted Angelina to take me to the boutique for change of clothes. Uncle, oh, why not me? Well, um, you know, Angelina is very good with color combinations and all this stuff. But next time, it's going to be you. Okay, okay. So why don't you try her line? I've been trying for the past two hours. It's not been going through. I think network. Well, you tell her to call me when she comes back. Okay. We must be at the boutique tomorrow. Young man, bye. Okay. Okay. Uncle, bye bye. Alright. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You don't remember me? I'm Angela's uncle. Oh, good afternoon, <laughs> sir. How are you? Okay. You know, I'm very good at remembering faces and uh, keeping records. I've seen the two of you a couple of times and I believe something is fishy. Um, actually, she's, she's my neighbor. Yeah, We're just neighbors, well, that's all. Don't worry. You, she deserves to be happy. She just lost her husband. So please, don't break her heart. She's like, I'm sure, nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing. Oh, it's... no, 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 nothing, nothing. But remember, women are fragile. So please, take good care of her. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I tried to make breakfast for Kelly earlier on. I couldn't really succeed. It's okay, I'll handle that. Have you taken any drugs? I couldn't leave the house yesterday. So, just give me a second. I stopped Kelly from coming to see you because I I didn't want to infect you with her cough and cut out, sorry. Oh, I never get sick, trust me. Well, it's always the first time. It's not a very nice thing to say to your angel of mercy. Perhaps someday you reciprocate. Well, I hope so. Look, um, I'm really sorry about dinner. Would you want me to check up on your mother? Uh, I, I, she has a friend staying with her, so... But once I'm feeling better, I'll, I'll check in on her. So you wouldn't mind me taking Kelly to the shop? We'll check up on you again. Oh, that would be nice. Fine. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, thanks for being such a wonderful lady. You're an angel. Okay, Alright. Ciao, Daddy. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Uh, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye darling. Yeah, be a good girl, okay? Oh. busy lady, so um, I think I can handle my affairs so you can leave any time you want. If you're asking me to leave, I will leave. But honestly, I don't think you're strong enough to assume your daddy in charge role. You look sick. Well, you did say you were going to check up on me, didn't you? And I did. 
I mean, Kelly and I came here to check up on you from the shop. You were still sleeping. So I took her, gave her something to eat. She's sleeping right now. And I said to come back and check on you. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know. It's nothing. It's okay. Are you hungry? Black pepper pounded yam, vegetable soup, and hot fish pepper soup. Yeah, I just feel like I just died and went to heaven. Oh, trust me. You won't die. <laughs> so, why don't you get up, brush your teeth, wash your face, just freshen up a little bit, then I'll set the table. Oh. Let me help you. Look, I'm not that weak, you know. I can't. You really thought you were strong. Uh, well, you know, I'm a strong man. It's just, you know, I'll tell you what the truth is. I'm actually attracted to you. I'm very attracted to you. Do you believe that? From every day, I learn from him. I learn from home. I learn from all of this around me. Mm. I live my life now, learning from every day. I learn from him. I learn. We have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. All night long, if you ask me. Yeah, so I suggest we start now. Uh, uh, oh. Are you okay? This was a mistake. I know you're ready to forget if I did. I'm not so <laughs> to find out that her sister is dead. I am Vanessa. You have to trust me. I am. Prove it. I said prove it! I give you two minutes. Or I'm out of here and I'll never see you again. Remember you said I have the same mannerism as Benny? That's true. I, yeah. Okay. We met. At Brenda's wedding in Asokoro Abuja. We got married on Valentine's Day. Our traditional marriage was on your birthday. You haven't told me anything that isn't public knowledge. It's not public knowledge. Okay. Okay. Your 
right handed. I'm be dexterous. You took me to Nickel Lake Resort on our honeymoon. And then we had a boat cruise. It was so much fun that we did it again. There was one big difference. You gave me a small box. What did you tell me when I gave you your engagement ring? I cried. I cried and I accepted. Before then, I hadn't let you touch me because I wanted my husband to be the first. And then after you proposed, I realized I loved you enough to make you the first. I begged you to make love to me, but you declined. You said I was worth waiting for. gave birth to Kelly. A dying woman at the hospital begged you to name her Kelly And you agreed. There's no way you can know this. There is absolutely no way. I love you. I came back for you and for Kelly Chi. Okay. One more question. wanted a large family and the doctor said I couldn't give you another child I thought you didn't love me anymore stop I can't take this at the other shop downstairs. Wait, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing, just something I can handle on my own. Wait, does this involve a certain charming widower who could not wait for me to leave until he wants to be left alone with you? Because if it, I'm going to strangle him if he hurts you. It's not his fault. We just had a minor misunderstanding, that's all. A misunderstanding? Yes. But trust me, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll sort it out. You sure? If you said so, but as for me, I don't have to worry myself about any man. Lynn, you have to change your thoughts. What men and women were created to mix up and be with each other. Why do you hate men so much? You know, at times I don't believe that you don't just remember anything at all. You know, that's one point of my life that I don't want to remember again. I rely on me. Okay, but why don't we just pretend that men do not exist? Because please. they exist. It's alright, that's by the way. So please, just dry your tears, right? Let's get back to work. I'll join you. It's alright. Why are you still wearing mufti? What happened to your uniform? Until the manager sent me on an errand, so I'm just coming back now. That's not an excuse. Please, go and put on your uniform. Sorry.
He didn't believe me. This is all my fault. I got a second chance. I'm so stupid, I should have just relocated. Start my life afresh somewhere else. I never tried to see Vin or Kelly again. Now I've ruined everything. I've ruined everything I built. I am not happy with you. I'm very sorry. I am. I'm sorry. I wasn't feeling fine. I had malaria and typhoid. Are you okay? Oh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm treating it now. Okay. Is that why you switched off your phone? Lynn actually felt I, I needed to rest. I, I guess she, she put it off. But I'm honestly very sorry. I really wanted to go with you. I, I was really ill, you know. Okay. I'm sorry. How's the man doing? Oh, he's <laughs> fine. He's yeah. fine. Seriously, I used to think you were best of couples, but we are topping chats, topping chats, topping chats. Trust me. Oh yes, you should. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. I just can't stop laughing. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm... <laughs> All right. Let's just say for the sake of harmony that I believe you. I mean, I, I need you to explain it to me. How? How is Kelly? She's at her mom's. I dropped her off there. <sighs> Where do I start from? Just start from the beginning. The accident. I don't remember the accident. All I remember is a team of doctors trying so hard to resuscitate this girl. I later realized it was me. All I did was watch. Watch? Watch from where? It was painful. No! No, we don't get now! My husband still needs me. Who will take care of my baby? Oh God, I'll give anything not to go now. Very painful. Well? Well what? Do you believe me? I, I don't know. I mean, this is a lot to take in. I'm not exactly an authority in out-of-body experience. <laughs> this reincarnation thing. I am one of a few people that have died and come back in the same lifetime but with a different body. Uh, look, I've, I've never heard of anything like that. I... So, what, what exactly do you want from me? I want nothing from you. Nothing. I haven't come to disrupt your life. I came back because I wanted to be close to you and Kelly. You think I wanted this? To come back to a life where everything that was familiar becomes unfamiliar? To see my daughter grow a few yards away and yet be able to do nothing? Knowing that one day you will fall in love with someone else and remarry. You think I fought so hard to come back to a life like that? Is that what you think? No, no. There's no point dragging this any further. No, no. It's okay. So, you're welcome, my love. Okay? I believe you. What was my character like before I lost my memory? I mean, what kind of a person was I? How do I tell you this? You know, before the accident, you were a great person. But after that, your, your attitude changed, your behavior, you became so loving, caring that I can now imagine you like a mother. What do you mean by that? You know, because before now, I can't imagine you with children.
Is that why Frank and I never had children? No, no. Both of you wanted children, but after so many years of no luck, you visited a specialist and Frank was tested sterile. Sterile? Yes. You know, they said Frank can never father a child. What a world. You know, you and Frank were at the verge of adopting a child before the accident. Sis, I'm sure all this I just told you is not going to hurt you so much. No. Thank you. Sweetheart. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome. Thank you. I need something crazy. Something really comfortable. That's it. Please rain it. Oh, okay. Just hold on. Let me get this. This place is really beautiful. You talk as if you've never been here before. Oh, yeah, of course. I've been here before. You know it's been a long time. Okay. Yeah, the colors I have, I don't know the ones you prefer. You know, I really wanted to be very attractive. Mm -hmm. Do you have shoes? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. go to the other shop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... Good morning. Good morning. Do you realize just a few minutes past seven? I know. That's why I sneaked in through the back here so the neighbors wouldn't see me. Why is one? Actually, I could think of a better one. Really? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking. So have I. All night long. You know... Uh, Please. You're not ready for that now. Please. I mean, I'm not comfortable with that yet. Neither am I. I'm not comfortable either. Look, I've been thinking all night long. That's what I want to tell you about. I'll tell you that, you know. We'll just treat this like a normal courtship. You know, give us time to adjust to one another. Thank you. So, um... Are you going to go over to Mum's place to pick Helio? Oh, I mean, as much as I'd love to, you haven't had breakfast. Well, uh, are you going to make breakfast for me? Yes. Coconut rice. Hey. You will me. I've had that since the accident. I can't skip. I need to get rid of the fact that. Right. I am going to stay in the present. Obviously, there are things we have to do first. What's that? Our wedding. You want to get married? Of course I do. We've been married before, we just have to do it again. I never been expected that you would. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was rude to you, but I believe you now. I didn't blame you. It is sounded really scary. Yeah, scary. Well, that still doesn't answer my question. What is your question? Marriage, woman! Ah. I thought they knew when they asked that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> In case you forgot. <laughs> breakfast bread. Yes, breakfast bread. Don't play. Bread. Uh, do we have to have breakfast bread? Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. No. Don't play. Why did you change our bed? I couldn't live without Fanny, without thinking of her. I'm sorry I asked. That's okay. I couldn't uh, stand lying in this bed with her. You, gone. You know, the thought of her lying right beside me in bed and even finding her sleeping in bed when I come back from my morning jogging. And sometimes she'd be on that edge, angry with me after a heated quarrel. I miss those things. And so I spent a month sleeping on the couch in the sitting room because I couldn't stand uh, sleeping here until I changed the bed, finally. It happened. But, if you don't like it, I'll change it. It's fine. I will sleep on the floor as long as you're with me. I love you. And that's all that counts. I love you more. So much more. Hello. Hi. 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 <sighs> Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Dinner is ready. What coming? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll bring her. Look. Uh, don't overfeed her. No, I won't. She doesn't even want to eat. <laughs> okay. okay. Trusting right. you. Fine. Right. Yeah, What's happening? Nothing. How do you mean nothing? I swear, nothing is happening. This guy practically strips naked in front of you. You're telling me nothing. He strips naked? How do you mean he strips naked? He's wearing a shirt and a knicker. What's stripping naked there? You know, this guy loses of sex up here. You're keen on him. Okay, now I know where you're heading. I think I'd rather leave you to enjoy your drink while I take the child to meet her father. Thank you very much. You're not angry now, right? Nothing is going on. I just told you. I know that this isn't appropriate. I mean, it's not the right time for me to tell you this. But I felt you should know that Vincent has proposed to me. And I did accept. <laughs> I knew it. The first time I saw the two of you, I saw it in your eyes. And I told you, but you denied it, young man. <laughs> you see, what most of us the experienced ones see while sitting, if you the younger ones climb on top of the mountain, you can't see it. <laughs> well, it's okay. You see, you have been praying for your happiness. Today I'm so happy and I thank God that we have found happiness. Thank you very much. And um, um, uh, Vincent, that's your name. Yes, sir. Angelina is an angel in this house. Please, I wouldn't want anything to hurt her. Do everything possible to make her happy. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. And you too will be happy for it. I will. Uh, I just want to say I, I appreciate you, including me, our family. I know. Certain protocols must be arranged, but I promise you we'll get to that in due time. Mm, well, you know, I'm not too much concerned about all these traditional things there and there. And when is the wedding date? We haven't fixed the date yet, Uncle, but when we do, it will be the first. Week. Oh, why would it be a waste of time? Come on, you guys should do something. Um, and you do it now that I'm around. Although I'm not leaving the country until I finish my beauty. I've been staying in the hotel all this while. <laughs> and uh, anything you want of me, I'm ready to do it. And for the news, this is, this is good news, this is good news. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a new couple. <laughs> hey, you. 
Where are you coming from? I'm sorry I kept you waiting. You Will you just answer my question? Where are you coming from? I went for a friend's engagement party. And why did you tell me? Come on, darling. I tried to reach you. I kept on calling your number, but you weren't picking. Besides, perhaps you're with some girl enjoying yourself while I was trying to call you. Okay, I'm really sorry. Honestly, I am, but I really did try to call. Besides, I'm not a prisoner. I mean, you just can't lock me up inside like that when you're not Prince Charming. Oh, you're right. I'm not Miss Prince Charming. I'm not even Mr. Perfect or any other fictitious character you might care to label me with. No, I'm not even your dream man who would never put a foot wrong. I'm just a normal guy who's head over heels in love with you and cares and worries about you when I, 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 don't, I don't hear anything about you. So please forgive me for even caring for one second. Stay there, I'm leaving. No, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm sorry. I mean, I, that was a joke. Really. I'm really sorry. I did try to call you, but I couldn't reach you. I mean, the invitations came late, but I honestly wanted us to go together. I'm sorry. Really, I am. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I did see your missed calls, but I was in the bank and... When I came out and called you, your, your phone was switched off. I, I went over to Lynn, your sister's. I went to your business place and just said you went for a party. So, well, I kind of felt rejected and... Really very sorry. Well, forgive your only one condition. And what condition? Well, you moving to my place so I at least can see were you going in or coming out? Such a terrible, handsome detective. <laughs> so, can we go in now? I guess. I changed my mind again. What? <laughs> Shall we now? In my mind again. Why? Okay, what next? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really shocked, I'm not. <laughs> Better put those on. They want to carry No, 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 I don't believe you. Okay. Um, Pumpkin, would you like Antelina to live with us? Yes, she sleep with me. Well, no, my dear. I'm going to sleep in Daddy's room because Daddy's bed is bigger. Would you like Antelina to be your mommy? Yes, I have to learn that my mommy went to God. Oh. You're right. You're right, darling. I love you, princess. I love you, Dad. I love you, Antelina. Sweetie, why don't you go and have your breakfast first and uh, we'll talk about it later, okay? That reminds me. Mm. I think we seriously need protection so I don't get pregnant. Why? What's it? We have to be careful. What do you mean? We're getting married anyway, so what, what's the need for it? Yeah. We have to be careful. So we don't be in a haste. You know, much haste, less speed. <laughs> We've already been in a haste. Um, from that experience, it wasn't, it was really, really good if you ask me. Ah, remind <laughs> me, remind me. <laughs> You're unbelievable. I know. That's why you like me. <laughs> No, there's a child in the house. Yeah, she can't see us. Don't you do she? that! <laughs> All right, um, do you wanna go and I'll follow you behind? Let's no go way! You go first! No, just want to see what she's doing now. <laughs> Damn! Sheesh! Um. Mom? Yes? Angelina and I have an announcement to make. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> we 
We have um, decided to get married in the new year. First of January to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know um, it sounds like you know all this happened very quickly, but I think we know one another well enough to know that we want to spend the rest of our lives together. All we want is your blessing. Told me that you see my widowed son. Declare his intention to remarry a few months later. I would have said they are crazy. But I'm very proud this is happening. Alice, you two just have to be happy. I'm you have my blessings. Yeah. And Jennifer, you're welcome to my house. Thank you so much, Mom. Your approval means so much to me. And I hope you take me as your mother. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. This would be a very big relief. At least I can have time for myself. I love her dearly. But she can be naughty at times. Mm -hmm. Please. Mama, I hope that doesn't mean you're going to abandon her to also completely. No. You know you can always rely on me. Mommy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Ah, that's good. Son. You know, Angelina is not van. I know how important to you to have a woman stay at home. I'm sorry if your youth was not what you wish, because I'm not always there for you. But at least, I made you the man you are. A man whom I am very proud of. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Thank you. Um, and I think Angelina will make a very good wife for you. Thank you, Mom. I know she will. Promise? I promise. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me. Of course. <laughs> Look, Kelly and I need you here. You have enough responsibilities to keep you busy here in the house. I can take care of the house and still have an active business. I can provide for both of us. That is not necessary. <sighs> oh, what's all this? I mean, you were happy not working before. Was I? Even if I haven't worked before, Vinny, I mean, I'm no longer Vinny. I'm Angelina. I want to work. I love to work. My desire for you has nothing to do with work. And I hope yours is not about having a little wife at home who will be at your back and call every day. It is not. Please, understand. I love you. I love you. I want you to understand that I, I really want... No, I, I don't understand. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not comfortable with having a working wife, okay? Uh, there are enough hassles to, to think about. There's, there's the hassles of childcare, uh, uh, schedules. And uh, how about if another child comes into the equation? What happens? I beg you to just give me uh, a chance. Why don't you just sleep on it tonight and then maybe tomorrow you change your mind. Okay? Good night. I love you. Let's talk about my dress, my plans, <laughs> my man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow! 
<laughs> You're just too excited. Well, <laughs> my God, that's fifth of January. Me so soon. Hey, my good news. Darling, how are you? Beautiful. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Yeah, what is it? Yes. Baby, you know I can't guess. I don't know how to guess. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes. You are going to be a father. Again. What? I mean, I went to the doctor and he just told me that I was looking. You're pregnant. Yes. I mean, isn't that exciting? Bloody hell. That's, that's all you're going to say? Well, Bloody what do you hell? want me to say, Angela? You barely have enough time for the baby we have here already and you want to put another one in the way? You go and get pregnant for that one? My dear, babies take a lot of care. Now, if you want to run your precious business and everything, how are you going to take care of two babies already? It's not a problem. I mean, I could cut down my appearance at the shop and then better still take the kids with me. And how are you going to do that? You have two babies. Okay, let's say you take care of two babies. How are you going to take care of meals, the house care, everything that goes along with it? And you think, oh, probably, I mean, the things you can't take care of, you rely on your great, 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 great grandfather to take care of them because I won't be there to have the time. Finn, stop. What are you, I mean. No, you stop. I could take time. Please, away. just, just leave me alone, please. Now! Fine, I'll go. they done to you? I'm pregnant for Veen. He doesn't want the child. He does not want what? How convenient for him. That bastard. That lousy fool. He thinks he can use my only sister and dump her like hot potato. He should better have everything. This will not solve anything. You don't understand. Make me understand why he does not want the baby. Please, sit. I need a friend. Someone I can talk to. Not a protector. I'm sorry. It all started after the accident. Okay. I promise. I'm not going to do anything. Please explain. You know, Finn's late wife, okay, was a housewife. She was an orphan. No brother, no sister, no mother, no close friend. But it all started when the doctor told them that she will not be able to conceive again. Look. Come on, what? 
<laughs> Look, I'm not in the mood, okay? Please just make love to me. Why are you doing this? Please. Come on, what is wrong? You've been maltreating me these days. You've been rejecting me. You've been making me feel feel so so horrible. What is wrong with me? Look, just leave me alone, okay? Ah, uh -uh. is it by force? <coughs> Where are you coming from? Well, I went to search for a job and fortunately I got one. <laughs> Did you inform me before you went? You were not in the mood to talk to me. So, I decided to help myself, get myself some friends, since the only man in my life does not have time for me anymore. Jenny. Vanessa. What has come over you? I should ask you that. You stopped eating my food. You stopped talking to me just because the doctor said we can't have another child. Well, I decided to get myself a job so that I can save money. But I give you monthly allowance. Oh, please. Who knows? You might decide to stop it. Finn. Everything just changed. Everything crumbled in a twinkle of an eye. I realized I am losing you. Let me get this straight. To stop yourself from losing me, you went out to get a job so you can have the opportunity to flirt as much as you like, Happy? No, 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 let me get this straight. So you can have a safety net just in case you lose me. No, no, I am not hearing this. No, 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 let me get this straight. So, your aim is to go out and let other men into your life? Our life that we built together in this place? That's what you want to tell me? Now, let me tell you something. You are my possession. I own you. And I will die before I let anybody or anything take you away from me. Do you understand me? He wants me to be a housewife, and I refused. I'm not going to be happy if I give up my world. I won't be. I think the best thing is to live his life before we tear each other apart. I mean, we can't resolve this. I want the child. And I will keep the child. Fish know something that you can know like a book. The more that. Mixes. Oh, you're back. Yes. For how long will you continue like this? I have told you that men don't want distress. Men are nothing but shit. That's not totally true. It is true. It's because we are brought up to believe in fairy tales that every little girl would join her prince charming and live happily ever after. 
total stories. Did what is this? Sometimes that happens. Reality slaps us in the face. And we get to find out that our Prince Charming is nothing but a dog. No matter whatever you do for him. Oh, have you forgotten my experience with Mark? Have you? We've been through this before. And I told you I don't want to have sex now, please. I want to keep myself for my husband. But Linda, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I know you love me, but not now. I know you're a baby, okay? But there is no good relationship without love making. Don't you understand? I promise you, listen, you're not gonna regret this. Okay? Yeah, but but I don't want to give out my virginity to, to someone that will use and dump me. Excuse me? So are you are you saying I don't respect you? Huh? Listen, we've been seen for three weeks now. What are you doing? Baby, please, please don't get upset. It's just that I'm scared. What are you scared about? Heartbreak. Because I don't think I can survive it, please. Listen, sweetie, I'm not gonna break your heart. Alright? I sorry. promise not to hurt you. What all that time do you need? Mark loves you so much. Don't you understand? I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? You promise? I promise. Don't you trust me? Huh? Baby. Baby. Huh? Please, get up. I, I have to start going. It's getting late. Why don't you just stay a little while? I don't want you to go, okay? Please, Auntie Mercy will be worried. I didn't tell her I'll be sleeping over. Hmm? But you can as well call her on the phone. Alright? Just call her on the phone, okay? Okay. You know what? I'll be here tomorrow to see you. Hmm? I promise. So, I have to get going. I will see them. That makes the difference. The things that we feel. He loved me. He convinced me to sleep with him. Then I give him my virginity. My virginity. That's the day he broke my heart. Yeah, good morning. So what do you have for breakfast? Okay, okay, get me coffee and uh, toasted bread. Please toast it very well, okay? Thank you. Yeah? Who? Linda. Oh, please allow her in. And I told you before, whenever she comes, we should allow her. No problem, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Lina, you're not cheerful, are you alright? Fine is Angelina. Angelina? What's the problem? Is she alright? She came back home. She's pregnant and Vincent does not want to anything about it. I don't understand you properly. 
Could you please explain yourself? Vincent said he does not want her anymore. Jesus Christ. Vincent said he does not want her anymore. Is he stupid? Now give me his give me his number. Uncle. Give me his number. Let me talk sense into his brain. Give me his number. Please, please. I don't think Angelina will be happy if she finds out. Please. Don't call him. All right. Now I'm going to go to his house. I tell him that Angelina has a family. I will tell that idiot that Angelina has a very responsible family. She is from a very responsible home. I'm going to go to his house and tell him that to his face. That is what I'm going to do. I'm sure Angelina is all right. Yeah, she's fine. Just that she keeps crying. Oh, she'd be not. I was, I was so, I, I didn't ask her to leave now, I just... of a stupid, meaningless quarrel. I know how you feel about my not being able to give you more children. But I want you to know one thing. I love you. I really do love you. Even though the doctor said it's risky for me to give birth to more children, it's it's a risk I am willing to take. I wonder where Angelina is. I don't want to lose her over another stupid quarrel again. She's gone. Gone to where? I don't know. We, we had just a, a, a small quarrel. I, I, I told her to get away and leave me alone. But, but she misunderstood what I meant. And now her phone is switched off. What was the quarrel? It was nothing. I merely told her I, I wanted her to be a, a housewife and she refused. That's all. Sweethearts. You can't force her to be like your first wife. No. I know you love Van, yes. And I loved her too. She lived all her life for you. I was even grateful to God that the horrible accident did not claim your life. Because you are my only son. And not only that, I know Vanny will not survive without you. Vincent, tell me, why are you so self-centered? Tell me, why can't you allow another person to have his or her time once in a while? Tell me. But, Mom, it... it... The worst part of it is that she's pregnant. Eh? Now listen to me. If you know what is good for you, go and get my daughter-in-law and my grandson on board. And I tell you one thing. Don't come to my house until when you get there. That's all. Still switched off. Linda. 
Hello, Linda. Hello. Where's Angelina? Listen. Don't ever call this line again. I said, don't ever call this line again. Stupid network. Good. Hello, Lynn. She hung up on me. So it wasn't the network. Hey. I'm dead. I help you? I'm looking for Angelina. Is she around? She's not. But I can relay your message to her. <sighs> Linda, I know you know where Angelina is. Or do you think I'm stupid? I could not have found more accurate label if I have set my dictionary. But on a second thought, I'll take it back. Because stupid does not actually describe what I think of you. My sister was not looking for any man where you sneak into her life. She has just lost the only man that ever loved her and the memories of him as well. Look, um, I don't expect you to understand, Linda, because you're still a child. I don't understand. So why don't you make me understand, old man? Angelina and I... Spare me that! Spare me that! She was chilled about the baby. That was the one thing that would have made her life complete. She thought you loved her. That you would have been delighted about it. But she didn't know that you were just looking for a replacement for the first paragon that you married. But listen, let me tell you something, Mr. Man. My sister does not need you. She loved you and wanted to spend the rest of her life with you. But what a terrible mistake. Look, I love Angelina, and I want her and the baby. Do you mind stepping out of this, please? Linda, please, just help me. That's all I'm asking. Leave this compound or I'll call the police for you. Go! let men be? Why won't they just let this men stay on their own? The only thing they give you is just happy. That's all. God, please. I just don't know what to do. Sweetest little gift, my whole world. Oh, my love, my day. Angelina. Listen, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come back into your life, 
I should have just let you grieve and then by now you'll be okay. I will not blame any decision you take on Kelly. I have no visitation rights. But please. Please. I know that I love her so much. I uh... No. I should go now. I'll just pick the few things I, I'll need. Sorry, I fell short of your expectations. I'm sorry. Angel. I don't want you to go. I don't understand. I need you. I need the baby as well. I was wrong. I... I didn't want you to go to work because I didn't want to lose you. You see, um, right from when I was young, I made myself a promise that I would always be the provider of my family. That day you went out to work, I was, I was scared I would lose you. And this child, He's a symbol of our love. Um, you know what's funny? I know it's going to be a boy. <laughs> I know better than to argue with you. I don't want to lose you. Christmas can think that you can do like a book. Life is not something that you can do like a book. The more that you read it, is the more you're confused. Life is a river that you can know the debt. Life is not something that you can do like a book. The more that you read